Hello viewers, welcome to Bots of Success Academy's YouTube channel. We know that CLAT 2020 results are out. It has brought mixed reactions among the law aspirants. Few are happy, many are unsatisfied with your results because of various reasons. The reasons may be delayed examination, new pattern, private law college admission before CLAT, or confusions with NLU based communications. Right? In this tough situation, we have Mr. Paul Su to clarify some questions which are lingering in our mind. Let us ask him. Hello sir. Yes madam. Sir, the score for CLAT 2020 is not enough to get into top end and use for some students. What would you like to say to them for their results sir? Uh, you very well mentioned in your intro speech also that the reason for low scores are few students who not got the NLU cutoffs could be for many reasons. Uh, basically because the exam got delayed for 7 months as the preparation would have got staggered. They would have had all the enthusiasm to attempt it in the first deadline or in the second deadline. But because it has got pu pushed further, they would have lost interest and in the last few days they wouldn't have prepared or probably many of them would have gone into other uh, either a different course or a non NLU based law colleges and would have been started their courses there and just because they applied they come for the examination. So these are various reasons why scores would have gone less. Moreover third thing is being a new pattern there is hardly any good material available for students to prepare on new matter. So that lack of materials or there are hardly any publication which came up with books also. So this is another factor which would have made people got less score. Yes. Great news sir. My next question is in this pandemic period few students might have not prepared seriously. Correct. They have joined private law colleges or non-law courses but still interested in law. Mm -hmm. Do they have still any chances? Currently the whole counselling process is not yet over so if you have a good uh, rank either the community based rank or the all India rank you can wait till the third counselling or for few vacancies also but if you already joined a non-law UG program or a non-NLU based colleges and you still are wishing in your mind that you should get NLU because you know the value of it then I would suggest that you repeat this class which is coming in the 2021. I will come up with three reasons why you should do that. One because this investment of five years of your NLU career, you will carry this brand behind your name lifelong. So hence, if you sit for another seven months or eight months and prepare for law properly, there are chances of you getting into a good NLU is very very high, then you should give it a try. This is one reason. Second reason is if you have got just a few marks less than the cutoff. And by now you know the new pattern, then it is easy for you to prepare because you are familiar with the pattern. You also know what are the plus and minuses you have gone through in the preparation. You just block and you just clear those blocks and then you are there in this, the next uh, CLAT 2021 and you should be making into energy. The third reason is the exposure level. Obviously the better NLUs gives you a better exposure level and uh, you, you tend to study with a different peer groups. So these are the three basic reasons why you should consider repeating CLAT. Yes, madam. Nice explanation, sir. But how much will this going to affect their career if they have to do repeat CLAT again? Mm, you mean to say they are going to wait for one year and then take this one year backlog? If that is a fear they carry, um, they don't have to carry because if uh, for a non-NLU based uh, law colleges or let's say they get into a BA, BSc, BCom in any other colleges. Currently the BA, BSc, BCom across India many of the colleges do not have placements. Right? They have to finish up the probably then they do an MBA or they do an MSc or an MCom type of situation. So my point is a non-placement based courses is moving away from their dream was one thing. Second thing, if they are getting into an ordinary law colleges just because they have offered the admissions, there again you don't see a lot of placements happening. 
so you wait for seven months you are actually making this investment of time in terms of better placements in nlu also i'll just give a small example let us say you join now in some colleges for your law program that is in 20 and by 25 you come out right in an ordinary colleges probably your placements are let's say 5 lakhs or 6 lakhs per annum right so by 2025 you are coming out with a 5 lakhs or a 6 lakh salary but i am saying if you are looking at the top 20 nlus in the next year and you prepare properly this is only the disclaimer is if you have the potential and if you feel that you are not done justice to the potential this year then you go in take that uh, time gap of 7 months do the CLAT in 2021 join an nlu by 2026 when you come out the average placements if you look at the top 10 nlus are somewhere close to 15 to 18 lakhs per annum so by 2025 you come up with a 5 lakh salary by 2026 you're coming up with a 15 lakh salary the one year or the seven months which you sat through is actually helping you earn that extra 10 lakh salary so it is not wastage of time it is not wastage of few months it is not wastage of one academic year it is called as investment in terms of time money energy